Hey everyone, today I got something really cool to show you with my garage door. Turn it up. So, what am I going to show you today? Today is my garage door. I haven't done a lot of updates on the garage yet. So you can see it's kind of closed in now. I got a door and a garage door up. You saw the garage door up before, but it was an overhead roll-up door. Well, something I didn't like about it was I just, I didn't like the way it took up all my roof, open roof space. So I fixed that with that rail right there that goes across right there. So now that's a sliding door. Put the camera down, I'm gonna show you guys how that works. So this is my garage door, like I said just a second ago. It used to go, it was a roll up overhead garage door. I didn't like that. So I found these traps and I converted this roll up door into this. Done. Door is closed. How awesome is that? <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys the little the hardware and everything I use to convert that thing. Okay, so this is a roll-up door, but I'll show you in a minute what I did to make the door basically stay flat. Because it did try to uh, kind of roll out on the bottom, so I had to make brackets to keep it just completely flat. But before that, I had to buy this stuff. It's a railing. The company who makes, it's a company that makes all this. It's called, uh, the company's name is National Hardware. And all together, mine, my door is 10 feet, or no, it's eight feet tall by 10 feet wide. And I got two rollers, which I'll show you in a minute. There's a roller there and a roller there that goes on that track and it bolts to the door. Each roller can hold about, I think it said 450 pounds. So I only needed two. <laughs> and then the track itself is, what was that, uh, 10 feet wide? So that comes in 10 foot wide sections. So right where there's two brackets right there, that's a split. And then there's a split. Yeah, so it's three pieces. I completely forgot for a minute. Had a brain fart. So... Let's go up close. I gotta use my uh, stick, selfie stick. So as you can see, well, you can't see it real too well. There are some rollers up in there with, you know, a little stem that comes down. And then I just bolted it. I drilled a hole through the door and bolted it through. And that's all it took. And then down here, let me open the door for you guys. Let's walk over here. Sorry about camera angles. Okay. So on the outside, it looks kind of ugly. Um, I just took a piece of metal right here, cut it to the length I needed, and then drilled a hole. I just put a, hole, a nut in a bolt. But I did have to make this little piece right here or else it was trying to squish the metal together so I just cut essentially made a little bracket that way when it crimps together it doesn't actually just keep going that actually stops it and that will keep the door straight let's go back in so these rail the rails right here that I'm showing you I'm on a selfie stick I'm way higher up now so you just take these rails and bolt it up with that bracket right there. And it comes with the bolt right there. It's basically like a uh, lag bolt or whatever you want to call it. And I've got it bolted to a, what was that, two by six? Yeah, that's bolted to a two by six that I have across here. And that's all it needs. 
So you just put that railing up, bolt it on with those little clips, and hook up the door. And after that, you have an awesome sliding door. It takes no effort. <laughs> but I do recommend, which you're probably going to do anyway, is make sure it's level. Because if it's not, unless you do it on purpose, you might put it at a slight angle. That way, when you're done with the door, you just, you know, unlatch it from something and the door will slide shut on its own. Be kind of cool in one way and kind of annoying in another but yeah i figured i would share that with you guys so check out national hardware they're not a sponsor in any way i just thought it was really cool <laughs> that you can convert a regular roll-up garage door into something like a sliding pole barn door so that was just a quick video guys showing you how I did the garage door. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, stick around. I'm always building something crazy. I'm gonna take videos of it and show you. And I got a lot more coming up. So thank you for coming by and watching. See you next time.